Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. I wanted to talk to you today about capos and when I use a capo. Somebody asked me recently, Jim, when do you use a capo and should I even use a capo? Uh, so the answer is, well, yes, you should use a capo. If you want a really traditional bluegrass sound, you're going to need a capo for some things. Now, there's going to be people out there say, oh, no, you know, you, you, you learn your fingerboard. You, you won't ever need a capo. I mean, Don Reno never used a capo, and they'll hold Don Reno up as a fine example of, uh, of a player that didn't use a capo. And they're right. For the most part, Don didn't use a capo. But all your other banjo heroes did. Earl Scruggs used the capo. Ralph Stanley used the capo. J.D. Crow. I mean, all of them. All of them. Sonny Osborne. They all use capos. Because sometimes you need a particular sound, and the only way you're going to get that is with a capo. So let me, let me talk to you about the capo and what keys that I'm going to use the capo in and where I'm very likely to put the capo to play in different keys. Now, if you like this sort of content, be sure to hit a like button, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. That would be awesome. And if you want to get notifications, be sure to ring the bell. All right, thanks. Let's get on with this video. Now, your standard bluegrass keys. G, A, B. You hear, the, you, you hear about those keys pretty regular. And so key of G, obviously we don't need a capo. So we're in the key of G, no capo. I like to use these yoke style capos. Let me show you this one. So it it just it just fits on the it fits on the on the neck. It stays on the neck. This is a uh, this is a G seventh. It's a G seventh uh, heritage. It's a uh, it's fancy schmancy. But I really like it. Uh, it fits on the neck. It stays on the neck and. I've got a video on capos where I talk about different capos, but it stays on the neck and I don't have to worry about it. And I, you know, it's not going to be in my pocket. I'm not going to lose it. It's, it's just there when I need it. Uh, prior to that, I used uh, one of the shove capos and also a good choice, but I was always like, where am I going to put it? And, I, and I'm, I'm very surprised I've held on to this one as long as I, I, I've had this capo since the, uh, since the early eighties. And, I, I just, you know, I, I, I've held on to it for a really long time. Uh, don't loan your capo to your buddies. They'll stick it in their pocket. So, but that that's another good option. But I, I really like this that stays up there. So if I want to play in the key of A, then you'll hear sometimes in the vernacular of the bluegrass jam, you'll hear some smart aleck, and they're just being funny. They'll say, oh, that's going to be G up two. So you know how to play Cripple Creek in G. But fiddle players like to play in A. So for you, you're going to take your capo. You're going to put it at the second fret. Now we were G. If we do our musical alphabet, G, A flat, A. We've also got to capo our fifth string or tune it up to A. So you could tune it up to A, or you could use some sort of fifth string capo. And I have spikes on this banjo. And then the fifth string goes under that spike. And I tweak my tuning a little bit with the spikes. Now I'm in A. So now I'm in the key of A. So that's G. I'm still playing G, but I'm up two. So if we go up two, one, two, G, A flat, A. And then if if we we're going to play a song in the key of B, A, B flat, B. So we would go to the fourth fret. And I know if you've been to any kind of bluegrass jams or walked it through any festivals, you've seen people with their capo at the fourth fret. And so if I'm gonna play in the key of B, I'm gonna play with my capo at the fourth fret. I'm also going to uh, spike or capo my fifth string at one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do it as well. And now I can play in the key of B. By playing things I already know, 
because I'm, I'm pretending I'm in G. I'm, my brain is still working in G. I'm just G up four. So now I'm in the key of B. And so now we can play all those Bill Monroe numbers and lots and lots of stuff that's going to be in the key of B. Or, I mean, if, if your singer likes to sing in B, now that's where I do it. So for me, my standard three keys, I'm still playing out of G positions, but I'm just moving my capo. So for the key of A, I play at the second fret. Key of B, I play at the fourth fret. But Jim, what if you're going to play in the key of C? I don't use a capo for C. So I just take my capo off. Just for me, I slide it up behind the nut and no, no fifth string capo. And now I'm in the key of C and I just play out of my C position. So my chords would be C, F, and G. So that's what I would use. So I've got C, no capo for the key of C. You could, you could, if you had a capo like this shove, and you could capo, let's see, I have to go this way for C. You could capo, oh, I need to tighten it up. I haven't used this capo in a while. And now we've, we capoed at the fifth fret, and then we have to raise our fifth string to five. And so you could do that as well. I don't normally because I use this yoke style capo and it doesn't go past the fourth. But, you know, if you wanted to do that, you certainly can. No shame, no shame at all. But what about D? So D, you've got options. D, you can play, you can play out of, without a capo. And you have, but you have to do something with the fifth string because with D, you have a dissonance. So we need to do something with the fifth string. So we can either raise it to A or the second fret, the seventh spike. We can do that or we can lower it to an F sharp. So that's your option for D. So I really don't use a capo when I'm playing in D, but you could. You could put your capo at the second fret. Got to spike your fifth string. Or capo your fifth string. And now you're gonna play out of the C position. So we are C up to C, C sharp, D. So that's an option for you there. So let's see, what keys have we covered so far? We covered G, A, B, C, and D. What if you had to play in, in E? And that could happen. That could happen. All I would do for E is I would move my capo to the fourth fret, Got to move my fifth string capo as well, however you want to do that. Now I'm in the key of E, I am playing out of C position, or I could have left my capo where it was at the second fret and played out of D. D positions, but I'm actually in the key of E. All right, well, we got one more. What about the key of F? So F, you've got some choices. You could play F without capoing at all. You could do that. play out of F without a capo or your other option you could capo to the third fret 
and then you can capo your fifth string if you want to. And I like to capo it at five or your 10th fret, however you want to count that. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to play out of, I'm going to play out of my D position. And now I'm playing in the key of F. So, but I'm playing out of my D positions. So, D, A, and G. You could, you could capo at the fifth fret if you've got a shove capo or some other way to capo at the fifth and play out of your C positions. And now you're still in the key of F. There's a lot of different ways that you can use a capo, a lot of different places. And, but those are the ways that I normally use a capo. Now, if you wanted to experiment, please do. You can play in the key of D if you capo at the seventh fret. Just capo everything all the way across. You can capo at D. You could, if you wanted to capo at the 10th fret all the way across, you could. And now we're, now we're in the key of F. And play like. And then you'd be in the key of F, but with like almost no banjo neck. But th those are your options. And that's the way I approach playing in the capo. I will include a little chart to go along with this video that kind of explains what I do, and maybe that'll help you. So when you're out picking, you'll have a general idea of where to throw that capo. And never be afraid to ask. Never be afraid to ask somebody in the jam, say, hey, are, where do you capo for that? And what do you do when you capo for that? And most, most times, Folks are going to say, oh, yeah, I capo at the uh, third fret and I play out of G, meaning they're going to play in the key of B flat. And so check out the chart that goes with this. Check out the other videos. Thanks for watching. I, I appreciate y'all. See you next time.